my name is Sam, I'm from usephotoshop.com, and today I'm going to help you understand how to use the sharpen tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. If you don't already have a photo open, go to File, Open, or use the keyboard shortcut Control and the letter O on your keyboard to open an existing photo from your hard drive. I'm using this one here. To find the tool, go to Window Tools to open up the Tools window or the Tools palette. It's located 6th from the top, or 7th from the top rather, or 5th from the bottom on the left hand side, and may be hiding behind the Blur tool or the Smudge tool. If it is, simply left click, hold down, you will see this menu appear, and you can select the Sharpen tool. I'll zoom in on this photo by holding down control and pressing plus on my keyboard and I'll use the hand tool by holding down shift or uh, holding down spacebar rather on my keyboard and I'll get over to the area where their hands are and this pencil and they'll show you how we can use this tool to sharpen this say if I wanted this to stand out more I can First, select the size of my brush by clicking on this downward arrow and adjusting the size. And I can also adjust the hardness. I'm going to go with a fairly soft brush and set my hardness at 11%. I can also, of course, change the size by using the right bracket key on my keyboard to make the brush bigger, or the left bracket key to make it smaller. Let's get it to about the size of this pencil. And you will see when I draw over this pencil, it will become more defined and more sharp. It stands out more. Also, you will see that it brings out some of the graininess of the photo. So you have to be careful how much of this you use. You can adjust how strong this tool is applied by going up here and adjusting the strength of this tool. If I have it set very low, you will hardly notice it, whereas if I set it very high, you, it will be quite obvious that I'm using this tool and it will get very grainy. So let's set it somewhere in between at about 40%. You will see when I draw over this, everything I draw over becomes more defined and more sharp. And I can really bring out some of the details in this photo by using this tool. So there's a quick tutorial on how to use the sharpen tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.